Hi, everyone. Today Sunday, November 20th, 2022. And the topic today is how to avoid cheating on the diet during the holidays. I'm Mary, and I'm helping to co-host today um, for the Morgellon Call of the Week. And I'd like to say that, in my opinion, Richard is the most knowledgeable expert on Morgellons and other skin parasites. Um, his book is How to Get Your Life Back from Morgellons and Other Skin Parasites, and it is incredibly helpful. Um, And each new edition offers new and better solutions uh, because Richard is continually researching and working on ways to improve things for us. He's lived through this himself, so he understands how we feel and what's been happening to us. And he learns not only from his own research, but from us as well. So we're uh, members of his research team. Uh, He's here for us every Sunday, and he's always answering questions via email. And he offers the very best products on the market to help us overcome the parasite so we can get our life back. I personally am so grateful for all of his work and research, truly for me, in my head, it's always Richard to the rescue because he's always helping. So please allow me to introduce Richard Coons, author, researcher, and man extraordinaire. Thank you, Mary. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> Welcome to the Morgellons Call of the Week. Uh, since we're going to get maybe into some technical things, let me first of all give the FDA disclosure. The FDA requires me to inform everybody on the call that before you start the King Diet or accept any any of our recommendations, that you discuss them with your doctor to make sure they do not interfere with any health problems you're presently experiencing. Uh, The AMA requires us to inform you that we are not trained as physicians and only physicians are allowed by law to diagnose, treat, cure, or mitigate any disease. And therefore, we do not none of that. But what we can do is educate you, educate you how to get the most from the King Diet, how to clean your skin, and how to clean your environment, and how to build health and immune functioning through targeted supplements. With that being said, the topic of the day is holidays coming up. And what comes along with holidays, but for many of us, food. Holidays have a way of for me anyway, always sneaking up on me because I'm not really a holiday person. And typically, uh, all right, so I find, oh, it's Thanksgiving and I'm invited someplace or, and I haven't prepared, you know, and I'm, I'm stuck with what's there, what, what's uh, being, what is on the menu, which uh, is maybe very little of it is close to the King Diet. And that could be a real problem. So we're having this program today to bring attention to the fact that, hey, Thanksgiving is just a few days away. It's coming up Thursday. And now if you've been on the diet, and let me say for those of you who are new here, the diet is the answer to getting your life back. In my opinion, I don't know of any other way to do it. So this is a working program for people in the program. And that being said, if you are relatively new within the first few days or a week, you can make the diet work pretty quick. You can fact make the diet work within 24 to 36 hours. It's that fast, providing you make no mistakes. So you could be very happy. Now, once you make the diet work, what happens? Well, the amazing thing is you're relatively free of any itching and biting and all those feelings uh, that that go along with it and the misery that keeps you up at night and you can actually uh, get a pretty good night's sleep and we can say, wow, that was wonderful. Uh, Now, if you go 
Thanksgiving dinner or invited someplace, there are a couple of things you need to know. Number one is that depending on where you are with the diet, you could be contagious. So if you haven't made the diet work, uh, in fact, all of us, before we make the diet work, we are walking, talking, breathing machines. And that means wherever we go, these organisms are shedding from our bodies. And when they shed from our bodies, they go on to furniture, they go on to other people if they're close enough uh, in the environment. So first thing is to prepare yourself. Uh, make sure that you are basically relatively free of any itching and biting before you go someplace. Not that everybody's going to be affected by these organisms. I mean, I had a lady write me and tell me that I am full of crap because in her whole family, she's the only one with Morgellons. <laughs> well, my family is over 6,000 people, not five or six. And it is contagious. And anyone who says that is living in a limited little, I mean, it's common. It's common that one person might be the only one affected in many. Uh, one lady, in fact, wrote me and told me that, hey, I have 240 employees and I'm the only one affected by it. And I, I work with, you know, mingle with all of them. Lucky you. What we do, you know, but that's not true for everybody. We're taking risk when we expose ourselves to other people if we have not taken some social conscience into, uh, into account. So number one, to stop being a walking, talking, breathing machine, you make the diet work. And as I said, you can do that within, oh, 36, 48 hours or so, all right? Providing you are really on target and avoid me. It's a strict diet. I, you know, it is a strict, a damn strict diet. One little piece of gum, one little Tic Tac, and you're off the, off the diet. That Tic Tac breath mints. Uh, it, it's that simple. Now, so before you would go to a function, whether it be Thanksgiving dinner or whatever, I suggest making sure you made the diet kick in. Otherwise, I might beg myself out way and say, well, you know, I'm not really feeling up to it today. Maybe, uh, I'll catch you Christmas uh, and, and take, take a way out. Unless you have no conscience and don't mind exposing uh, grandchildren and other relatives to uh, this nightmare. Uh, you know, okay, but me personally, I would beg away if I were not on the diet and relatively free of itching and biting. So once you make the diet work, okay, before you go, then I suggest taking a bath with, uh, you know, people, I'm, I'm not here to sell anybody anything, you know. I got my life back back in the 90s, long, long before I ever knew of nature's gifty brighting soap, all right, long before. I take a hot scalding bath, use some Epsom salts, you know, scalding to the point where, you know, I could barely... Uh, stand it's so hot. You need to be careful. You need to, because you can get dehydrated. You need to have water handy and so you don't faint when you get out of the tub. But uh, if you are in a position to afford the nature's gift, then it could be a tepid bath, uh, warm water. You uh, put in the nature's gift, and the peppermint or some disinfectant, sit in there about an hour, get yourself uh, uh, cleaned out, your skin cleaned out, Step in the, uh, let the water drain out, get in the shower, uh, rinse off using uh, the Nature's Gift bar soap for the liquid soaps, and then get out. And if you have any activity, then uh, use some Claudia's Dream Cream or uh, Nature's Gift skin lotion and apply to that area to calm it down. In other words, you want to be relatively free of itching and biting because, before you socially engage. Now, that's the day of the uh, uh, holiday, the day of, before you go there, all right? Now, we're a few days away. 
So if you make the diet work, you want a plan. You want to talk if you're if you're going someplace. You want to talk with uh, uh, the host. Find out what's on the menu. Uh, find out what the ingredients are. You know, you can tell them you have some food sensitivities. Uh, that's what I always said when I went to a restaurant before I ordered. I, I would explain to the waiter or waitress that I have food sensitivities and I need to know what the ingredients are and everything that I eat. Uh, so you could talk to the host, find out what's there. You can then do a Robin. My regular co-host, Robin, what she would do, would she would prepare things for herself and take along enough for everybody. So she might prepare a salad or make her own salad dressing. There's uh, recipes in the book. Uh, she might, uh, so she make make up a few of her own dishes and take along, and along some for others as well. Uh, and that way she would have what she could uh, eat on the, on the holiday. Now, if you've made the diet work for, say, seven or eight days and have been relatively free of any itching and biting for that period of time, well, then you don't have to be so cautious. You can go and you can basically eat mostly anything that you want, the dessert and everything, and you probably won't have any activity or reaction afterwards. But then you want to immediately get, get back on the diet because if you think, if you think that you got away with it and that you're now cured because you had no itching and biting after eating things that were uh, not on the diet, you are gravely mistaken. Because if you brought some of that food home and you brought that uh, some cake home with you or leftovers and you continue eating them, a day or two later, it's all got to be hell all over again with the itching and biting like you never were on the diet to start with. But you know what to do. <laughs> you get back on the diet and, and get things straightened out. So you'll lose uh, maybe a week or two, uh, but, you know, at least you'll know what to do. I'm really new to this. Um, well, welcome. That's what we're here for. We're, we're here to give you a, a good kickoff on this uh, program and get you uh, motivated to do the diet. It's a strict diet. And uh, mm -hmm. were you planning to start the diet before the holiday? Um, I'm not sure. I guess it depends on what all it entails. Well, it's very strict. And do you have it? Do you ha Did you look at it yet? I did. I've, I've reviewed the article. Okay, great. So you need to look at it. Uh, you know, for me, I was at the point where I was suffering so bad, I would have started the damn diet yesterday. <laughs> you know, uh, that's how I was. I wouldn't wait for a holiday or anything else to pass. I would get that thing to kick in, but I'm not everybody. Not everybody perhaps was uh, suffering as badly as I was. Some people actually take a few weeks before they start to diet. I have no idea why. I mean, it's, uh, but uh, the, the idea is get it started. First of all, get rid of all the vitamins and the supplements that you have. Not that you have to throw them away, but you put them up on the back shelf. You go through the refrigerator, you go through the cabinet, and every all the foods that you have that are not on the diet, you give them away or get rid of them or put them away for later use, uh, put them in the freezer or whatever, and then you go through the uh, foods that are on the list and you make a list to uh, go to the grocery store and stock up on the foods uh, that are on the list. It is preparation, it, and, and the, re, the results are, uh, are well worth it. Okay, so uh, welcome, Jessica. Keep coming back. We're here to support you in getting your life back. Okay, well, so... Planning for the uh, the holiday is very important. Uh, if you uh, take your own, some of your own food, if you're going out or going someplace, if you're going to a restaurant to celebrate, as I shared before, quiz the waiter or waitress. And if need be, have the chef come to the table and quiz the chef. You want to make sure that if they're using butter, that it's real butter or ghee and not some blend 
of, of uh, butters. You want to make sure that all the ingredients are acceptable and are on the diet. No soy is allowed. So uh, do not, you know, just tell the waiter, I have a food sensitivity, you know, allergic, and I don't want an allergic response. Nobody wants an allergic, you know, people know what, sen what allergies are like, like peanut allergies and things like that. They know how uh, serious that can be. So they, they will be glad to work with you to make sure that uh, whatever you order will be compatible with the diet if you explain it to them. Uh, or take your business elsewhere. Go someplace else where they, they will accommodate you. Stress management is important. And many of the emails and many of the people who call in and ask questions, oh, you could just feel the stress oozing out of their bodies. They are over the moon with stress. Because, number one, well, do I need to tell you why you're under stress? I mean, that's kind of silly for me to tell you why you're under stress. You know it as well as I do. There's confusion. <clears throat> you've been fighting this thing. You've been going to doctors. You've been getting nowhere. You've been trying this. You've been trying that. You've been hoping this works. You've been hoping that works. You've got to juggle this. And you've got children. You've got relatives. You've got people you're living with. And you're trying to take care of them. And you're worrying about them and hope they don't catch it. And, oh, man, it's and, – and then you join this program and you find a strict diet and – and, and the information is just overwhelming. I mean, it's a good thing that it's a book that you have to refer to. And really, you want, and, you know, the bottom line is the people who succeed in this generally end up reading my book at least a half a dozen times. They end up with dog-eared and with yellow post-its in it, uh, so they constantly refer to it. I mean, there's stuff in the book that I don't even know is there until I go to review it and, and uh, revise it and, and re-edit it. Uh, so it's got a tremendous amount of information. So constantly refer to it. It's a good way of reducing the stress. Now, we talk about stress management every week here, but I don't get very many people sharing with me that they're actually using the techniques. For instance, one of a tremendously valuable technique is simply breathing, deep breathing. Every time you come to a, a stop sign, if you're driving, do a deep breath. Every time you come to a stop light, you're going to be there a minute. You may as well breathe. It's, these kind of things can be reminders. Every time you answer your telephone, do your deep breathing. We have had a few people over the years share that when they do the deep breathing, their blood pressure comes down and they they can get off of the blood pressure medication. So we did have, but gosh, out of the hundreds that have listened to this program over the years, two or three is not very many that have actually come back and shared that they're actually doing something. So I'm putting out a challenge for you. I have suggested many, many times to take a little post-it, you know, you know, these little post-it packets, and write on the post-it, deep, just write breathe, B-R-E-A-T-H-E, breathe, and stick one on your rearview mirror. Stick one on your refrigerator. Stick one on your radio in your car. Stick one on your uh, front door, stick one on your computer, okay? Stick them everywhere you can think of to remind you to do deep breathing. So every time you see that little post-it, and let go, relax, let it go. And since you took one breath, why not take another, okay? There's no cost, I'm not paying anybody, no. Okay, so take another one. Now, here's the offer. Put up those post-its. Take at least five pictures of post-its that you put up, the places I mentioned or any creative place, and email them to me. 
You know, people send me pictures of these stupid organisms. Hey, I don't want that. All right, they're useless. Complete the questionnaire. That questionnaire tells me a hell of a lot more about what's going on with you than a ridiculous picture does. All right. So, but take pictures of these post-its. Five, at least five pictures, and send them to me, and I will send you with your next order from the Parasite Store or from the OrganicSkinCare.com. With your next order. I will send you a free jar of our toothpaste, which is worth about, what, 12 bucks, Chris? 12 or $13? So that's an offer. Now let's do some deep breathing to manage stress. Now when we do deep breathing, many of us, uh, many of you have been on the call before and are familiar with this, but for those of you who are new, when you do a deep breath, the wrong way to do it is like this. And you lift your, your shoulders up, and you inhale into your chest, that's a tense breath. That's the wrong way of doing it. <clears throat> so you want your shoulders down, and when you inhale, you inhale slowly down through your chest into your abdomen so that as, in, as you inhale, your abdomen gently expands, and when you exhale, then you pull your abdomen in and exhale all the air. So when you breathe in through your chest, Expand your abdomen, and then when you exhale, slowly pull your abdomen in. And you can do this to a count of, say you start with a count of five. You breathe into a count of five. You hold it for maybe a count of two or three, and you exhale to a count of five, and you hold that for a count of two or three. Now, this is just starter. You go from five to six to seven. And you go from two to three to four. So as you get more proficient with breathing, <clears throat> you go up. Now, if anybody has difficulty with breathing and find that they don't get relaxed, that's okay. That's just an indication that this is not the best technique for you. And this is where you would use our alternate technique, which is called tapping. And we've done many of those. So you uh, Robin has led us through it many times. Tapping is where you take two fingers and you tap on your forehead and you tap on uh, you know, above uh, your your mouth and 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 uh, she goes through it and you do that along with an affirmation, which is an alternate stress management technique. But let's just go through this one right now. So breathe in slowly. Two, three, four, five. Hold it two, three, exhale, two, three, four, five, hold it, two, three, inhale, two, three, four, five, hold it, two, three, exhale, two, three, four, five, hold it, two, three, Inhale, two, three, four, five. And now hold it, two, three, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's deep breathing. Slow and regular and relax and just let go. And as you're breathing, you might even think of your body becoming limp and like ragdollish and just letting all the tension go as you just let go. And why do you do that? Well, it uh, simply brings about a different set of hormones. It brings your stress level down. When you bring down your stress level, your creativity goes up. In an earlier segment, Mary talked about the value of keeping the diary. By keeping the diary, you uh, discover things that uh, you may not have discovered and, and make the diet work faster and quicker. The whole key is making that diet work. And then the next thing is getting your home disinfected. And whether you're doing the ozone or whether you're doing the electrostatic sprayer, it helps to be creative in making sure that whatever you're putting the effort in, you're getting the results. So, okay, anyone, you send me in those five pictures 
of uh, the post-its and then tell me that you're actually doing the breathing when you see them and I will along with your next order to the uh, organicskincare.com send you a free uh, toothpaste and I hope to see everybody next week love you all keep coming back we're here to support you so that you can say hey I stuck it I stuck in there with you and because of that I got my life back and people generally tell us they end up being healthier when they get their life back than they were when the problem started. Thank you. Love you all. Bye-bye.